Hello there, I didn't see you, come on in. Welcome to my humble abode. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, um, my name is Dolores and welcome to Flourish with Dolores. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how you can convert an apartment that you were living in alone to making space for someone else in your life who's gonna be living with you. So if that sounds interesting, keep on watching and along the way, I'm gonna be sharing things that inspire me in my home that you can get to. I'll put all the links to everything I talk about in the description box. And if there's anything that I'm missing, make sure you comment below and let me know and I will get you the link. All right, let's go. All right, so we have Charles, um, my husband recording, so you might hear a little bit of his commentary throughout the video. But as soon as you enter, um, since we just let y'all in, let me lock the door. Um, I always have this never give up. I make sure I look at that, especially before work from home day started. But when I leave the house for work, I will look at that and remind myself to never give up. Also have Jesus over here, because um, this is so important, the reminder. And I also see it as sort of like protection over my home. Whoever steps over the threshold is coming with peace and positivity. This is some fall decor. It's a good reminder to always be thankful. And then we keep like our face mask and our keys right over here. Over here we have a shoe rack, mostly when guests come or shoes that we know kind of go in um, go in and out frequently. And then let me take you over to the kitchen. Uh, I feel like the kitchen is the heart of the home. I have all, actually there was more, I don't know where most of it went, but we need to clean it up. Um, pictures of family and friends. Um, my cousin wrote a cookbook that I like to keep up here. Um, I love um, these words. It says, um, this kitchen is seasoned with love. Um, wine and laugh a lot so if you'll see or you'll see throughout my home that I have a bunch of different things that kind of inspire me words of affirmation um, is really important let's go over to the dining area um, so I've had this was actually my sister's table that ended up being a hand-me-down to me which I love it's like a really chic table um, and then we have our this is something I did when we combined our homes so when Charles moved in we made sure to put some pieces of him so we have um, our engagement photos which is actually a puzzle piece that we made together and um, then I have some more affirmation kind words water if you watch my quarantine uh, vlog you know I love water so I have my water here as well as the cloth and our certificate of marriage um, so that's really important step into the living room um, what you'll notice is I love nudes. You'll see that throughout my home. It just makes me our home. Sorry, so I'm getting used to that combining. Um, but nudes just make me feel more at peace, like I'm in heaven, and it's just a nice, clean feel. But it's funny because in my office, my office has colors everywhere. Everything is very vibrant, but at home, I like to just be at peace. Um, fun fact, this was actually, when we got married, actually right over here in this spot, this was my wedding bouquet um, from Michael's, and this is um, Charles's boutonniere. Definitely recommend this if you're trying to save some money, but you want something really, really nice and good quality. This is David Tutero, Tutera's line that you can grab from Michael's. So, and it's a nice keeps, um, keepsake. Um, our flowers for our big wedding, when we have it, we were being charged, I think $75, you remember? I think it was $75 per bridesmaid for their thing, but I got this for, I think like $10, and this was about $3 with a Michaels coupon. So I'll definitely link that below. Um, definitely have to have the Michelle Obama. We have Charles's graduation party book, which I love. Um, we have some family photos right over here, as well as, this is really important to me. I love how this woman is kissing the Bible and it's just giving her life and color. Um, so I love that. Then we have our entertainment area, um, where when Charles moved in, I made sure to print more photos of him, him and his mom. So my nieces, they're so cute. We have a little bit more fall decor. Um, that um, photo. And then I love this. This is our um, coat closet. Um, but I love this. This is from our wedding, standing right in that spot. Um, and we got this printed on like a glass sort of canvas. Also behind here, we keep disinfectant spray and sanitizing wipes so we can wipe down our phones and all that good stuff when we come in the house because we don't play with the Rona. Right, come on down the hall. 
to our office. This is like, it's our office for sure, um, but it's also the Flourish with Dolores headquarters. This is where you see me filming a lot of videos. Um, but another thing I made sure to print um, Charles is, actually I printed this as a gift a while ago, but we put it right here. Um, these are Charles's best friends as well as some photos of him in childhood. So that's a really good way to combine. You wanna make sure the person feel like it's their home as well. So printing pictures of them um, is really important. Uh, we have our printer um, area here. And then we made this little makeshift closet. So I'll put it on Amazon. Unfortunately, we overstuffed it a little bit and the zipper broke. But if you're careful with it, I do think these are really, really good and I recommend them also using bins to store. Um, but we also got rid of a lot of clothes. So this is just, after we went through like five or six bags of getting rid of clothes, this is our situation. So Charles keeps a lot of his work clothes in here, more of his like kind of just hanging out clothes. Um, and then um, a lot of times when I'm working from home and if Charles um, is home for the day he's not working, this is where he'll hang out if he wants to hang out with me while I'm working. And then this is the backdrop you see when I do my videos. And then over here we have our bookshelf. Charles has so many Harry Potter books um, that we made work and we fixed it there. And then I love that photo of me because it's like I'm studying. Um, some of the things I recommend in this office, um, if you are a woman of God, definitely get this. I'll put it on Amazon. It's um, God's promises. So anytime you're feeling kind of down, you can just read one of them. So definitely recommend this. It's just cute. It has little cute verses um, to remind you that you are special. Um, also love a good footstool while I'm working, as well as this really cool dry erase um, board um, and that one where I put my to-do list. All right, and then did we get this side of the room? Um, so this side has um, an award that I got from the Secretary of State. And then this photo that I took in Ghana, which is so important to me, and then my mirror so I can see how I look on Zoom calls. <laughs> All right, so let's come on over to our bathroom. Um, so this apartment has two full bathrooms, which we got pretty lucky with, um, especially because if we're trying to get ready at the same time, Charles primarily uses this one. Um, so it's pretty much a bathroom. This is where we keep our laundry. It has a full tub. Um, I love like little falls, of course. I put a cute pumpkin there. Oh, and I have to mention this little guy. Um, he is a coach for Seton Hall. Charles wanted him like up front and center up here, but we compromised. He's down here, but still, still showcased. And um, he puts him up on top when there's a game. Uh, PJ helps him coach. So another cute compromising, merging um, thing we have in the house. Let's go over to the bedroom. All right, so welcome to our bedroom. Um, so some of the things I did here to um, combine it with Charles, I actually always had this by my bed, um, but now it's on Charles's side where he sleeps, as well as his Bible, and he would not let this go. I don't think he uses it. I don't know if it works. Hold on a second. Yes, I do. It, it works. Okay. I've had that clock since I was 10 years old. It got me up for school every single morning. It's come with me everywhere. It keeps track of the time. It's staying. All right, so certain things like that, when you're moving with someone and it's very sentimental and important, it's staying. So you make it work. Um, we made sure it looks good where it is. We have his nice um, statue here and then some tissue boxes because I always believe I have tissue boxes on the side of the bed. Um, I love a good salt lamp, love a good plant. This plant, if you're not good at taking care of plants, this is the plant for you because they don't like that much water. So you can forget to water it for like three weeks and it'll still be alive. Um, also some candles. Um, this is a little bit more fall decor. It says count your blessings. Again, love affirmations. And then let's come on over to my side of the room. Um, humidifier for sure, my Bible. This is a photo of when I got baptized. Ooh, it needs to be dusted. Um, and then I love this book. Um, one of my mentors, Reverend Pritchett, got this for me when I graduated with my doctorate. It's God's Promises for Graduates. Um, so it has so many verses, it categories, categorizes it um, by everything that you're going, um, that's going on in your life. And then it has verses related to it. So if you're struggling with money or thinking about money, you have some verses related to that. So love this and it says my class, class of 2018. 
Um, I also want to mention these curtains. So if you um, have a partner or you work overnight shifts or if you just don't like being woken up by the sun, um, these blackout curtains from Walmart, and you can also get them on Amazon, I'll link it below, are amazing. Like You literally won't know it's the next day when you have these curtains um, pulled down. All right, so now let's go to the, oh, actually before we go to the closet, um, it's a little crooked, but I still wanna show y'all um, the Serenity Prayer. And I think I'm gonna move our photo down so it's, it's kind of leveled, but that is so cute. It's a photo of Charles when he was a baby and then this photo of me when I was a baby or a little girl. I have my and then, AC hammer pants. Yes, <laughs> and then our wedding photo, which I love. So that's right above our bed and then my bear so fun oh. fact <laughs> charles gave me this when he told me he loved me on our one year anniversary and he used to have a t-shirt that said someone um someone at seton hall no someone from johns hopkins someone from johns hopkins loves me and i love that and this is when he i think it was your first year at, at johns hopkins yeah. when he gave this to me but my cleanliness self make sure you check out our household chores video when i was doing laundry and washing him i put him with the whites in the shirt with the darks and now i can't find the shirt the laundry ate it but i still love the bear still has really good sentimental value all right and now the closet this was also um something that needed to have a lot of mixing um charles's life in so we got this um i don't know if you can see it uh, for our shoes to be able to have more room for shoes so this was important i like that it's one, it's tall and doesn't take up a lot of space. So I got this from Amazon. I'll link it below. Um, and then this is pretty much my side. Well, I have half of that side too. Um, but the other side pretty much looks the same except it has um, lower um, things. But Charles puts like all his really nice shirts in here. Uh, unfortunately, this apartment doesn't have a linen closet. So we just kind of have to stuff our towels over there. Um, I also bought this from... Amazon. This was another storage piece um, to put our linens with and also some of Charles's stuff. So buying little storage keepsakes, even if they're bins, like some of the plastic bins we have over here. Um, some people might think it's an eyesore, but I actually like them. And it's really good temper for temporary situations because if we move, I didn't want to buy something that was so permanent that may not look good in the other house. Um, and I have to mention too, Charles's humidifier. Let me close this door. Air filter. Oh, Charles's air filter um, that he got from, where'd you get it? So, interestingly enough, you know, they were, this company wanted to donate to people who were on the front lines during the pandemic. So, they gave um, a, a certain amount of residents, like, these free air filters. This thing is, like, $400. So, it's very expensive, but it helps, like, purify the air. So, I was like, all right, might as well put my name in the hat and get one. Yep, and so we got it. <laughs> All right, so come on over to the other bathroom. Oh, and I have to mention, always have Christ at the at my door. This was actually a gift um, from one of my mentors, and I put it um, at the front of our uh, of our bedroom door. I feel like to protect us um, in our marriage. Um, and then this is the other bathroom. This is the bathroom that I primarily use. Uh, again, you guys know I love words of affirmations. So this says, "Nevertheless, she persists." Um, this is my jewelry box. This actually used to be in the office, but to make room for Charles, I moved it into the bathroom. Um, and then be your own kind of beautiful. So just different things that just make me feel excited. Um, this is pretty much for the fall. Um, but things that make me feel excited and happy and affirm. Hey, this is Editing Dolores. Um, editing this video, but I really wanted to make sure that I popped in to say that with all the graphics and affirmations that I talked about, um, with having in the house. I want you to know that if you can't afford to get all these little pretty affirmations around your house, or if you want more creative control, you can really do it yourself on a budget. What you can do is go to Microsoft Word and create whatever graphic or affirmations that speak to you, and then head to my favorite store, the Dollar Tree, and get a frame. This frame is actually from the Dollar Tree when the original frame that this came in broke. So you can get a frame from the Dollar Tree and then print eight by 11 or whatever size you want. Um, graphics using Canva for free to do free graphics or Microsoft Office. And then if you don't have a printer, head to Staples and print it for like 69 cents. So I just want to jump in and let you know that 
even if you can't afford fancy affirmations around your home, you can create it and you can do it in your way that, you know, inspires you. So just want to throw in that tip. Enjoy the rest of the video. So come on down. That is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I will link some of the items, all of the items that I talked about, but if there's something I missed, please do not hesitate to put in a comment asking me where I got it from or just letting me know what you thought of this video. If you wanna book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to kind of hash out some of the things you're struggling with, please do not hesitate to do so. You can do that using the, um, the link in my bio. That's it for today. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey.